In this lesson, we're going to go over the transpose tool. Now typically, it's just used to move, scale, or rotate your selection. However, it's got some other really cool features. For instance, if you hold down Alt and move any one of the points, it can morph your geometry. Now, of course, this will change depending on where your anchor point is and uh, how far away it is from where you're grabbing the geometry. Now, that's actually just move. We've also got scale. <laughs> and rotate. Now, rotate's kind of really cool. Uh, on a sphere, it creates like a vase. On a flat panel, however, it can be used to create books or <laughs> bins in uh, metal. It's kind of really cool. It can be used to create some pretty <laughs> interesting shapes. Also keep in mind that if you hold down control, it'll drag a selection mask onto your tool. And you can use control shift to either invert the selection, <laughs> it's kind of cool, or to add to it. There's also a more accurate version of the tool called Transpose Smart, which slows down masking when getting to complicated geometry or hard edge surfaces. Also, you can add alphas to your transpose mask. So let's grab this one. Clear the mask. <laughs> Complete all the way through. It's kind of cool. The way that it works is when you drag on the first one, you're holding down control. Then you're going to start dragging the second one, and then press shift, and it'll keep your first mask. So hold down control, drag, and if you want to add more, press shift, and it'll keep the one that you had previously. And that is the transpose and transpose smart tools.